What's up guys, this is and today we're gonna check out Huni at Eco Ardens. Excited? Let's go! Hey guys, we are back here in Eco Ardens again. This is one of their earlier works of Dudo series. It's called Huni. And we are now going to check this out right before their VP. So everything looks complete already. And it's a very different tone altogether in comparison to what they have around the surrounding. So once you come in from the main highway NKVE, you turn into Eco Ardens. Right after the first roundabout, you take the first left turn. Then you reach to the side But eventually you need to make a U-turn again before you come back in So that's a safer route And what you can see, there's a dedicated divider For safety purposes so you won't have cars clashing each other And you can also see the landscape treatments Although this is one of their mass market products, right? They are not compromising any quality And here you also have their signature theme For the entire township It looks very decorated And you have very luxurious walkway around So this is just in case residents want to walk into the commercial lots They can actually just walk safely, comfortably Then after you turn left into the main entrance There will be sensors So all the systems are already in place And uh, motorbike parkings will be at the side Car parks will be at the elevated structure behind We'll go check that out later and once you come in, you will have the OKU car parks there And they are ground units So the residential tower actually starts from ground floor This will be the drop off And the cool part is that this project was sold out rather quickly So in total, there will be 1728 units And it was sold back then at 393 thousand each still depends on which floor and which orientation and things like that but the main thing we noticed that the entire theming the entire flavor of design is still very obvious it's still very decorated so you can see all these lights the landscape treatments and this will be the main entrance to block b in total there will be two towers block a and block b and you will have this triple volume ceiling height looking upwards to kind of welcome you into the lift floor b and right in front you will have the ground floor units corridor already So coming right through the leaf lobby Heading over to the car park structure You can see residential tower is actually isolated out from the car park structure So this is the most cost effective method of constructing this I like that they did not waste the in-between spaces So instead of making this into a road right, I absolutely love it that they maximize the land here Convert it into a somewhat facility garden Where you will have outdoor workout areas You will have a walkway Landscape treatments all around This is very nice So there will be three connection pathways from the residential tower into the car park structure So you have the bridges across different floors You also have the ground floor And that will be the main access lah. So as we are walking through the linear park You will have artificial turfings on one side You will have reflexology pathways Then for the car park structure also You will have some planter box spread across So even though this is an internal facing facade for the elevated car park right they still decorate it so that's nice but the only concern will be the level of privacy la, for the ground floor units so i guess they will need to decorate or do something to their window panels because this is rather exposed So walking past the garden right there will be different treatments as we are in the corner of the structure so that will be the gym room we're going to check that out later but this is the pool and you look into the tile colors i think it's nice you will have pebble walls treatments across the floor here then you will have planter box uh, you have some kombucha some palms and this will be the wading pool for kids and seriously now this is really beyond what i understand because if you think about a condo that's around 300 over thousand, right? What you get is merely a basic unit. What we expect la, as a buyer because that's also the budget for an affordable project introduced by the government. So it's also 300 over thousand. But then here, when you pay slightly a little bit more, 
you get facilities like that and just now when we have the ground floor units at the other side which is a little bit more bare the units here have better treatments in terms of privacy maybe because this is going to be the focal point for all the residents like that's why here is going to be a little bit more Maria, a little bit more crowded during the day so in order to access to the pool you will have steps going in then on the side then this will be the barbecue pit a small little tent and camp area right next to the gym this will be the outdoor furnitures just for people to chill around here and they still have effort to kind of design the circulation pathway and the experience throughout the entire water body so i like that the entire swimming pool is designed in uh, more organic form to kind of be in contrast to the hard lines of the building by looking at this view right this does not look like a affordable series at all so it's really their effort in trying to blur that line between the unit price and the experience that you can get for that price coming in through the swimming pool area we are now i thought it was a lounge right like a residence lounge where residents or neighbors can just come and chill do some homework dine in together have some leisure activities apparently this is the multi-purpose hall where most of the time it's left empty the residents can use them for their parties or family gatherings or whatever lah. but the team then choose to furnish it instead putting more tables putting in lounge chairs sofas and they blur the line between the games room activities room along with the multi-purpose hall and it looks really cool so this looks like a co-working space all together and personally i think this makes more sense so for the target audience of this project just think about it at this budget range it will be young couples along with the prospering business activities around this address itself so you look at the surrounding right there will be a lot of new factories a lot of new offices that's coming out around this address so it's just nice right they buy this unit and then this is going to be like your space when you work from home this is going to be so awesome if you're too tired of being in your own little unit you can come out here to meet some friends some neighbors right if you're too stressed up that's a pantry most likely there'll be a coffee machine and some snacks i don't know how the mechanism of charging still i'm not too sure but then you get to just chill around here when you are too stressed what a conducive space for a youngster which is way better than just keeping it bare empty as a multi-purpose hall yeah i love this Ooh. and all their common facilities features are all placed within this elevated car park structure itself so at the ground floor will be all the facilities we are back to the swimming pool area just now and this will be the changing room they are providing van blocks for better aesthetics and ventilation this will be the letterbox area or the mail room and for the common areas like this they are all providing floor tiles and this will be the management office in the future this will be the gym so now we are in the gym and we can see that it's heavily decorated we even have some neon lights going on <laughs> absolutely in line with their target audience at the front you will have a free weight zone then you have the cardio zones facing the swimming pool in total there will be five treadmills and it's actually furnished by vision fitness here then at the side you will have the mixed weight machine all the walls around besides the mirror area are all open the entire space is very very bright and i'm now very amazed with the extensiveness of the water body actually so they really extend the waterscape all the way to tower a itself and this is like a separate lab pool altogether. and i really admire the fact that they are just not doing things for the sake of just handing over like you want swimming pool nah no so they even put in some twists to it where there's a small little chamfer detail here to the edge as well there's a little chamfer here you just break the monotonous form of the water body okay then you will still have that strip of landscape treatments whether or not they will survive through time i'm not too sure that depends on the gmb but for now it looks really really nice even beyond spaces that people will pay attention to like this will be the pit 
for the voids, right? They even just put in some pebbles to somewhat decorate the space a little bit. And due to its popular demand or very positive response, you will have phase two already. If not mistaken, it's called Hana. So the width of the lobby is 2.7 meters, the height is 2.7 meters, and uh, the corridor is isolated via a fire door on this side. And you have floor tiles for the leaf lobby, some wall lights, and you have the aluminium leaf panel. Okay, so the rest is all plastered and paint. So this will be the floor plate design for Tower A. In total, there will be 22 units serviced by four passenger lift, one stretcher lift here. And it's actually split into two wings. It will be a double loaded corridor with all the voids. However, for Tower B then, it's a little bit different. In total, there will be 32 units sharing two lift cores. So there will be eight lift all together. This also has its benefit where you get something wrong with the lift lobby here, you can always share the lift. So it's actually interconnected. Something to take note is that government affordable housing elements are also mixed within the floor plan. Then right outside the lift lobby, then this will be the location of the refuse room. Uh, it's tiled up all the way. That's nice. And you have a window for ventilation. So right in the center between the wings here you have a stretch of window for ventilation and you then have the corridors to all relevant units already this has been the main concern for a lot of people because usually what we get is a uh, tile flooring with tile skirtings at the side but this one it's a little bit different the width of the corridor is actually very wide it's two meter and the height is 2.7 meters and you can look at the void space so all the external walls are spray painted then next to the voids you will have the relevant drains required just in case when water splash in currently this is the condition of the lighting situation uh, because we are in a rather high floor right now at the end of the corridors you also have uh, views to it what you can see is the new elevated highway that allows residents to straight away turn right out into the highway last time can last time you go behind so this really solves a lot of issue and that's right in front of the 10b international school and here you can see that usual signature treatments of the developer that amazing landscape treatments very decorated pathways street lightings infrastructure treatments and it's all translated still into this project despite the pricing which is awesome right then what you can see right below that would be the commercial lot and it's a project that is isolated out and that resolves a lot of conflicts and complications for the future when we need to debate about which area is common area which is under the residence which is under the commercial lot owners where's the demarcation of boundary and how do we split the meters how do we split the usage for utilities and things like that very messy that's so why i totally agree when they split up the commercial and the residential anyway this is the unit that we're going to check out today uh the four years width here is 1.35 and i absolutely love that it's a ram up so for parents who need to use stroller or for people to move things right this is going to be so convenient coming into the unit you will have the kitchen dining living balcony rooms at the side so the unit we're going to check out today will be type a where it's 1000 square feet in total there will be three bedroom two bathroom so when we come in via the foyer immediately you will have the kitchen connected to the dining and living and this separates the bedrooms on this side you will have bedroom two and three and you have a common shared bathroom here and this will be the principal bedroom along with its principal bath but in first glance you look into the balcony it's so luxurious So the door clearance here it's 870 mm i wish it could be bigger but it's going to eat up some of the space for the kitchen and what you can see now this is a fully furnished package provided by the developer anyway let's check out the kitchen first so now here you can see there will be a top and bottom cabinet fridge is included the dryer and washer is also included here and maybe because this is a corner unit that's why you have such amazing view to the unit if not it's going to be just facing the void for intermediate units you have the basin here i like that it's flushed on the top so this is just convenient cool and hot by rubin you have a two burner here and that includes all the cabinet spaces 
That's nice. And the width of the kitchen here is 2.8 meters. Absolutely spacious. Of course, you can still add on islands if you want to because the width of the unit is actually amazing. So the width of the unit from wall to wall is 4.4 meters. The ceiling height is around 2.7 meters. Because of the width, you don't really notice that the ceiling is slightly lower. I felt that it's fine. As we mentioned, right, you can perfectly add on a breakfast counter or an island if you got money to add into the interior design. Right? <laughs> then something to point out will be the backsplash. They are providing tiles. So it's a 5 feet wall tiles for the kitchen area. They have a different specification of floor tiles for the kitchen against the rest of the space. So one is glossy, one is matte. So this kind of have some anti-slipping qualities to it. Going in then you will have the bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. This will be a common bath. Okay. So for the bathroom, they are providing mocha for basin and WC. You will have full height wall tiles. Then you have a water heater here. You have a window for ventilation here. And we can see that this revision of layout seems to be one of the earlier stage one. This format, although they save up a lot of space, you don't have any circulation space or corridor whatsoever. However, then you will have a problem of direct visibility. So that's the shortcoming of this form of layout. The latest one then you somewhat have a foyer space to kind of have some privacy. I like that better, but this is the first edition. Now. Right opposite then you have this first bedroom here. This is somewhat like a filming studio or an office space or a workspace. It can also be a bedroom, of course. And the size of the room is 2.65 by 2.99 very spacious and this comes with the unit itself so you have wall paint somewhat like a feature wall then you have some furniture here all included in the package itself very nice and i like the window and to think about it right at this price range we get a three bedroom unit and all bedroom can actually fit in a double bed Next to this room, this will be the second bedroom and this is the one attached to the facade line. And this is around 2.7 by 3.7. That's why after you put in the bed here, you still have a workstation here along with your wardrobe all together. So all these are provided. That includes the curtains as well. Ultimately, this is still a cost-oriented project. So you can see that they don't provide full floor to ceiling height window panels. Instead, they just provide a standard one. And this is overlooking the entire township. So this is very nice. And you can see that the surroundings are all landed project. This is one of the very rare high rises around this area. So going outwards, there will be the Satya City Mall area already. So there will be all the hotels, all the commercial activities, the convention hall and etc. All around there. So when you're getting units like this, right, the argument of whether should you pick a fully furnished unit. Uh, I think if you are planning to get their latest phase one, you can maybe request, I don't know whether do they do this, maybe you can request to check out a unit in Huni itself to kind of figure out the workmanship. So far, so good. So the main benefit to it is again the financing part for all these finishes. Also, it's time saving like, because now I can directly move in along with my luggage. I can start living here immediately. I can move in. So coming out then, this will be the living room and because of its superb width of 4.4 meters, right? The TV uh, size needs to be bigger and all these are included in the package. So you will have your settee, you will have your table and chair along with the TV console and uh, along with the cabinet. Some decorative elements. The view is something else. Lah. So you can see that the size of the balcony is also very luxurious. So the size of the balcony, right, is 4 meters by 1.2 meters. And the flooring, they are providing tiles. 300 by 300 mm tiles. Then you will have steel handrails. And this will be the location for the compressors. Now what's amazing is this township itself. So you can see the entire township's architecture and planning. Absolutely amazing. And sometimes when we buy property, we are buying beyond the main unit itself. We are buying beyond the build-up. We gotta always balance that decision between the surrounding elements of the project itself too. It also comes with uh, the dream to have a unit here also. <laughs> when you stay here, maybe in the next home. Wow, not bad man. And last but not least, this will be the principal bedroom and you have the switches here. Okay. 
pretty solid. The height, I really like it. Going in, So the size of the room is 4.3 meters by 3.1 meters where you can perfectly accommodate a queen size bed then you have the wardrobe on this side curtains along with the bedside tables then you have a dressing table on this side and it's attached to a principal path so here you have the mocha basin and wc full height wall tiles and area for you to put your shampoos and stuff the water heater and that's about it just a little suggestion here where we can push out the door a little bit right if we can push out the door a little bit we can even maximize the area for this wall as well so we can perfectly put in another wall cabinet here or a side table here by just pushing the door a little bit the window looks amazing so you have all of them that can be open for ventilation purposes and at this height, it's still okay, la, right? Of course, the best will be like another two feet downwards, but I think this is absolutely fine. We are now in the elevated car park. This is in the mid section. So uh, you have a very clean structural lines. They use the flat slab system. And you have individual car park base parked across this cement screeded flooring. And they are using scissors ram to go across. And the entire car park cleaned area is actually way higher than the residential towers combined. So it's either going up, then up again, or you can just turn around, go down, go down like that. Okay, and I appreciate the corner detail here for the protection of the columns. So this will be the access coming into the lift lobby. So if you are not at the bridge level, then you can actually just take the lift to it. And coming out from the fire door, this is the bridge setting. So you can see windows laid out on both sides to prevent water. And uh, you can really enjoy the views. And the width is around 2.66 meters. And all the entrance will require the access of the key card before we can go into the residential tower. So in between the two towers, then you will have this little small corner and it translated it into a children's playground. Uh, I wish I could have just add some barricade so the parents can actually have a better peace of mind when the children are within. Because I do understand the limitation of land, the limitation of space within the whole project itself. So this is located right next to the car park. So I'm still very concerned if my kid actually run out. Lah. But then they are providing bench. They also provide the rubber tiles for flooring to prevent concussion from the kids and it's surrounded by landscape features. So this is also an indirect access way. If they will park here, then you can just access. And I do enjoy the inclusivity elements around the project itself. So you have ramps across the main entrances to the leaf lobby, to the unit, from the car park to the common areas. All are very well designed. So decorative elements like this are still found across the project that was meant to be cost oriented. And I guess that's all for the project itself. Let's go and check out the commercial area. Mm. So we are now walking across the commercial lot and since our last visit, uh, the occupancy rate has increased so now you can barely see empty lots in the front row completely all tenanted and this is just one u-turn away from Huni itself and if this is not sufficient you can go to labs if not enough you can go to city city mall and the tenants here are mainly fnbs a lot of tuition center international school car service centers beauty centers you have a gym as well so absolutely sufficient for a family to live by you don't have to really leave the township during the weekends and i guess that's about it it's now time for sean steak three on three so for the first three things i like number one will be the overall design strategy for this dudo series of theirs so after we check out the dudo the kajang so now this is huni and throughout this visit i'm very convinced with the strategy so not only they kind of templatize the unit layout which saves a lot of design time and resources they actually save costs in other methods such as the structural cost of not having a transfer slab so now they have the residential tower and the elevator car park structure built separately then in terms of materials you can see that they are not using the full-fledged luxury materials so for the common corridors they only provide cement screening for the entrance statement it's not as grand it's still in between towers but it's the triple volume kind of thing all the common 
areas are just less fancy but still thoughtful of course they also increase the density of the product to somewhat push down the selling price but the best design move to me is to really maximize the space in between the residential tower and the elevated car park and they put in all the facilities within so that to me was a very exciting move i would actually think about putting it on the rooftop of the elevator structure but then they put it at the bottom because other projects that we visited actually have the road in the center which kind of compromise the living quality of the ground floor unit this one then the ground floor unit seems very lush their lifestyle option is kind of cool you open it's either a swimming pool or a garden wow not bad man. point number two the superb value for money so you are selling from 393,000 the price varies in accordance to floor height and in accordance to whether is it foolish or not but it was instantly sold out and it was a big success for the team therefore now you have a new series for the whole group itself so that's very exciting and it's crazy right to think about at this price range that is very similar to the affordable homes introduced by the government but just by paying a little bit extra we get all the facilities we get all the parks we get all the security measures like CCTV, access card and a multi-purpose hall that is somewhat furnished like a co-working space I totally love that move and for Huni itself I like it because it's part of this master plan of Eco Ardents so if you look around it's all luxury landed homes in an address that is so matured so you will have the schools you will have the parks you have commercial centers practically anything you need so the best part is if you were to stay here and you work around right I'm not too sure about other series that's built in other townships but if it's built within the same developer the entire experience back home is guaranteed however there are certain things that I don't like also of course will be the number of units so per floor plate got one is 22 got one is 30 plus so it depends on which block that you are in so the only concern will be the vertical transportation time required here it's also because all units are large units so all units there's only two sizes one is the three bedroom unit one is the one that is required by the government and part of that concern also the journey to the car so it involves an horizontal traveling time where you park your car and you need to travel to the residential tower itself so it's not going to be as convenient as a conventional tower that has the car park built within the same tower itself this involves a little bit more walking then also the rooftop of the car park structure where it's not as presentable so for units that's looking over the car park structure right? it looks pretty barren it would have looked more amazing if that's the facility deck lah. but all this is with the mindset of minimizing cost ultimately this is a cost oriented product and to do all that right to have a smaller window for less fancy material to have more units sharing the maintenance cost all this is so that everyone can afford such a product in less than 400,000 yeah so within the unit layout itself also I like that every inch of space is maximized totally just that the latest revision of the floor layout is better <laughs> so I kind of like a little bit of uh, foyer space before each bedroom before the bathroom so it's not as open whenever you have guests around so and whenever you open the bedroom everyone can see inside so that's my only issue with the unit also within the unit the ceiling height seems lower it's around 2.7 meters and in first glance you don't notice it because the wall to wall width is 4 meters so because of that this is how they kind of maximize more unit also and a good thing about this kind of format of design then like whatever feedbacks that we have right now for the products right they would have improved in their latest revision of Dudo. the last thing that i might be a little bit worried about will be the expectation of people who buys from this particular developer <laughs> because the same township that is full of luxury homes are built by the same team but when they receive the units of such they will somewhat forget that this is a 400,000 unit so we'll see what will happen when the project is being handed over in the end of the month personally I think everything is pretty solid it's beyond my expectation absolutely so we have visited several affordable homes really all the residency residency right we have seen a few but at a similar price point that is around like maybe 80,000 more we get such a facility we have such a building right I think this has more value and you think about the landscape treatments you think about the teaming you think about the infrastructure treatments like the entire experience going into the development you won't feel like this is a low cost development just that of course it's not as premium as the rest like the gut house the boundaries the entrance the leaf lobbies the way findings the common areas all are still treated not like a lot of projects they are just left empty like that so I think the group has spent a lot of thought process in trying to give as much value as possible 
And with that, congratulations to all owners of Huni. All the not so good parts are just measures to provide the unit at the price range that everyone can afford. Yeah, maybe we can see maybe two to three years from now, we will look at the rent and we will look at the second hand price so compare this to a government product right this one you are not tied to moratorium where you cannot sell within a period of time right this one is totally open market maybe if possible can get one <laughs> see first see first okay and i guess that's all for today shout out to the team for having me again to let us really identify the doodle series it's really beyond the unique layout and size and number of rooms the common facilities and the layout and the township development everything is also well thought through together as a package and i guess that's all for today if you really like this episode like it share and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is Sean Tan. ciao